Hi campers, I'm here on the last day. Anybody will be here at this campsite and Horse City too. So I thought to bring you some nice good weather and some happy and healthy looking greens. Like this little guy here and this guy and this guy and this happy family. This bush, this tall dude. And of course, our scrappy old pot. Well, I guess by the time you see this, two weeks have passed and we're already halfway there. So I guess it would be the best for me, Teacher Yiping, to share with you the art that I'm doing at home. I have two of my plant pots here which I painted. This one is Timon. And this one is Adam. Adam has very spunky, spiky hair. Yeah, since the pots that we usually get from the plant gardens or the stores come in these kinds of brown pots, that are made of stone or clay or plastics. I thought it would be great to paint them and add some artsy colors to our garden. So let's go inside. Yeah, if you have not noticed, maybe go around your house and count how many brown pots you have. Some may be even hidden inside a bigger and fancier pot. So you could ask your parents whether you could paint on any of your pots or you could get them to get these plant pots online from IKEA which are about 90 cents to 390 or 490 depending on the size you're getting. And you could also go to cold storage during grocery shopping. Um, some of their plant sections have potted plants for about 3 to 8 dollars. And all you need is acrylic paint or poster paint um, as well as masking tapes to make some striped patterns like this which I will show you in a bit. Let me go get my stuff. Right here, I have all the materials that I will need. My acrylic paint, my brushes and water, some masking tapes and scissors, and the two pots that I will be painting in two different ways. For the metal pot, I'll be creating stripes with the masking tapes, as I have done here. And for the plastic pot, I will first layer it with a coat of white to cover its original brown so I could paint it with the colour that I want it to have later, just like when you are painting on a new white canvas. I'll begin with our white paint first. As you can see, I'm doing it in short strokes from top to bottom and then I'll turn it section by section with my left hand holding the edges so it doesn't smudge the wet paint. You may, as you're painting, find a way that's more suitable for yourself to hold it and to paint it. Done! Now if you're painting it directly on a potted plant, you could hold up the leaves to keep it away from the paint. Now onto our metal pot which already has some lines, so we could use it as a guide for our design. And I'm putting the tape around it as a ruler for my paintbrush, so whatever is blocked off by the tape will remain empty while I paint the rest of the parts first. Now we let this dry and our plastic pot is ready to have its colour. Give them some time to dry and then we can take out the tapes from the metal pot. And I'll fill it up with another colour. Okay, last layer for both pots. I've decided to go for polka dotty patterns. Just small strokes and dabs with my brush. There we are. These are our final pots. I'm just going to give this one its name using black paint and a smaller brush. There's Bob. And this one's the metal pot. Added some small details in it too. We're done!